Hi, it's Saturday and I'm going to take you along to a training session that we're just about to do and in the video not only will I be showing you some of the exercises, drills and rationale for what we're doing today but I'll also take you through some of the other things I've done this week. It's early season preparatory wise so it'll be good to show you some of the things that we're working on. Regular channel viewers will know I base my training sessions around units of drills and at this time of the season we do a lot of what I call basic drills. Do check out some of the other videos on the channel which go into more detail about these. I see these drills as being a bit of a replacement for circuits in that they work the body through repeated movements but the movements are perhaps more specific to the needs of jumping and sprinting than those done in a basic circuit. The lunges in particular are very taxing and the marching drills really work the hip flexors. We did four drills, two times each, over 20 meters. Next unit of the main session was an acceleration one. It's important for the long triple jumper and sprinter to always work on speed and acceleration is a great way to introduce faster running without so many potentials for strain early on in the training year. So as you can see we progressed through a number of drills that work the accelerative movement patterns, the taking of the feet away from the body and the keeping of a low heel recovery for example. We then progressed to some 10 and 20 meter runs where the athletes were instructed to run up to about 90% gradually progressing their speed over three to four repetitions. As you can see most of the athletes also did the session in their training shoes which as it was only the third one of the year is also a good idea to protect the legs and to minimize soreness. It's much better in my mind to work to the specifics of the event that you're training for Long jump, for example, is based on speed and power, and therefore those are the qualities that we need to work on and develop throughout the training year. Just for reference, and as indicated, I vary the types of drills we use in the various units across the training week. So these were some of the ones we performed in a subsequent workout. Placing the hands on the hips or holding a bar overhead, for example, will force the emphasis of the exercise onto where you need it. For example, the leg swing in these takeoff drills. So, returning to the main session, the next unit, the third one, involved plyometrics and specifically bounding. We progressed from straight leg versions to slightly longer ultimately to full bounding or near full on bounding. About five reps of the bounds were completed and on each one the athlete had to go slightly further to create more length on each contact but still trying to keep their hips up. The objective is to work across the training year at different joint angles to develop slightly different plyometric effects. The straight leg versions are slightly less intense than the more full on bounds and therefore a great way to introduce plyometrics at the beginning of the training year. The last and fourth element of the training session was some tempo runs. The guys completed four at their own pace. As you'll know if you're a regular channel watcher, I place a lot of emphasis on triphasic weight training and indeed jumping. So that's working through the various muscular actions, so concentric, eccentric and isometric. This year we've introduced a couple of new exercises which I'll rotate across the training year. I'll say more about these and triphasic training and how I'm adapting it in another video. For reference, in the majority of the triphasic weight training sessions, we'll always do some plyometric and jump work as well to hopefully boost fast twitch muscle fibre recruitment. Hopefully, what you've seen in this video will give you an idea of what you can include in your long triple jump and short sprint training. 
over the next training period. Thanks for watching and good luck with your training and competition and do subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you may have in the section below or through my other social media. And do check out the Jumps Squad merch. Set, go! I've had the free lap timing system for a number of months now and I've been putting it to the test. If you'd like to find out more about it and potentially purchase a system then do contact me directly but here's some information. The system is extremely portable and accurate to two one thousandths of a second. You no longer need to take up three lanes to time your athletes. Place the TX Junior Pro transmitters down on trackside Set up the app on your iPhone or phone or tablet and you're ready to go. The FX chip BLE attaches to the waist of the athlete and that's what sends the time to the receivers. It's simple and effective. It's been a great motivator and way to compare performances across the training year, not only between our athletes but with norms established by other jumpers for example. We can now really see how fast we are.